Hey, welcome you all uh, to Leicester, to the glorious sunshine of the LB campus. Um, I was tempted to put a wiki annual conference. Uh, it could have been right. I now, I, I'm now here. I now here. But um, uh, it is it is a great pleasure for us to to welcome you all and to share uh, what promises to be a fantastic event over the next couple of days. Um, if you were expecting a, um, a formal welcome, you're wrong. You will have to work. Bear with me. Um, as a participant and as a novice user of these things myself, I went through the program of activities and decided to pose some questions and some uh, issues I've got with what's going to be presented over the next couple of days. And I'm sure some of the answers exist, but I'd like to share those with you as a, as a starting point to begin to think about what's going to happen as the presentations unfold. I discovered, for example, that some of the themes listed on the left here might have uh, some interesting questions associated with them that I'm sure the speakers will address. So. Um, in the area of supporting educators and other groups. Um, as a novice user, of course, one has to wonder whether we need to encourage and promote and foster the shift of drawing from a resource to contributing to a resource. Uh, sounds obvious, sounds trivial, but in our many workshops and, 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 and other events we organize with colleagues, that is not as obvious as it looks. I noticed that there's an interesting language teaching with uh, resources like Wikipedia. And um, an, uh, an, an interesting issue there arises beyond translation. What can we do with such resources associated with the four skills uh, associated with language teaching and learning, listening, speaking, reading, and writing? Open educational resources and the Wikiversity. A few interesting bits of research have uh, appeared in the last few years. Uh, one of them has to do with the pedagogical wraparound. What makes a resource pedagogically sound and particularly transferable and usable? That's of significant interest to all of us who are involved in the OER movement in this country and beyond. And the second item there, uh, can I have a show of hands? Who's uh, Who's, been, who's familiar with the OERU concept? About 50-50, okay. Um, I am, and many others I know, uh, are interested in the, uh, in the idea of the OER university in connection with uh, and in collaboration with uh, other initiatives. And that's what that would have pointed first to. Um, using Wikipedia, universities, colleges, and schools is another one of the other themes, um, and, uh, and I am aware of, your, of, of the publications that were included in the pack about uh, case studies of various kinds. Um, I, when I was reading through those, I was remembering a publication by Betty Collis and, and Jeff Moonen, 2006, The Contributing Student. If you haven't seen that, I strongly suggest you have a look at it. It's very interesting, and there are lots of, lots of parallels between that <coughs> and what this theme is suggesting here. Challenges of assessment and accreditation in the world of openness. And here, uh, we have three interesting areas that I identified um, from the program. Authorship, truth and credibility. I'll return to truth in a couple of minutes. <clears throat> Who has achieved what learning outcomes, using what resources, and how is that achievement evidenced? And I'm sure that will be addressed by one or two of our speakers later. Critical thinking. Wikipedia tells us that critical thinking clarifies goals, examines assumptions, discerns hidden values, evaluates evidence, accomplishes actions, and assesses conclusions. Involving learners in developing criteria for critical thinking in times of what I call information overflow and reliability shortage. 
is a big, big challenge to myself and my, many of my colleagues. I would really like speakers to address that. Perhaps they will. <coughs> Open educational practices. And here we have various continua from content to teaching and learning, from resources to practices, from material to sense making of that material, from access to, to appropriation of. We find ourselves being exposed to a lot of content. <coughs> we need to shift from that content to the achievement of certain outcomes. How can we do that meaningfully, openly, freely? And then there's a contentious statement there, particularly relevant to the design for learning environments. Content is not king. I added one theme here, just that it wasn't listed. MOOCs. MOOCs and Wikipedia. I find that particularly exciting. <coughs> I hope it comes up. OK. Can I have a show of hands? Who's been familiar, who's familiar with the concept of MOOCs? Right, but again another 50-50. Massive online help, massive online courses, open courses. Um, can we establish some form of collaboration between such initiatives, many of which are running as we speak, with hundreds and thousands of students on them? Can we bridge gaps between the resource and the course? Can open educational practices help? And finally, <coughs> I think a more or less creative theme, what the future holds. Where will Wiki Wikimedia sit across various educational contexts in five years' time? What do we want to achieve? And for that purpose, I've designed a little task for you. You would need some of these things and you can work individually or in pairs, depending on how friendly your neighbour is. That means in pairs. You may, you may or may not be familiar with dreams and nightmares. Okay. So, just to be clear, that's the dreams corner, this is the nightmares corner, okay? Nothing to do with the fact that I'm here, right? <laughs> Your task has a few, well, uh, three purposes. Articulate the key elements of your stance in relation to the themes of this conference. The second purpose is to characterize possible open educational futures. Mm. And the third one is to warm up for the following session. Okay, well that's easy. <clears throat> right, I want to think about this question. How will learners, tutors and other groups benefit from Wikipedia and other Wikimedia applications in 2018? 2018. Okay, <clears throat> two parts to the task. One, <clears throat> on one sheet of paper, write your dreams. On the other, write your nightmares. Share those with your, with your friendly neighbour. Here's an example. By 2018, Wikipedia will truly be a one-stop shop for access to information universally accepted as reliable by learners and tutors. That could be a dream to some people and a nightmare to others. <laughs> you may choose to put your name on each piece of paper or leave that anonymous. But it's very important, when you finish your dream and your nightmare, Fly your airplane, make a paper airplane with it, fly to the dreams corner or to the nightmares corner. Really fly them. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> what I will do is I will then collect them, I will hand over to Martin, and as the conference unfolds, I will feed that back into the following speakers. You have five minutes starting now for your dreams and nightmares. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Oh. <laughs> 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 right.
Right. Any flights arriving late? Yes. Uh, please bring them to the front as you see appropriate. Uh, I did notice that. Uh, thank you. I did notice that some uh, colleagues forgot that step, which meant that some planes kind of came back. Yeah. Uh, that's because they need to be looking a bit more like this rather than like this. Ali. That's that's the that's the difference. Ali, it's easier like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was plan B. <laughs> if you can't build an air a paper airplane, just send it in, in any other in any other way. Right. Thank you very much for that. I will with the help of uh, some colleagues here, we will collect this and um, and I'll feed them back. Um, throughout the rest of the day and tomorrow. To conclude, no welcome would be complete without one or two um, slightly controversial claims. Um, American professor, Harvard professor Howard Gardner wrote, Wikipedia is a good example of this danger. <coughs> Nobody has established an explicit imperative to evaluate the truth, and I said I would come back to the truth, of each entry, the criterion for acceptability of a statement is having been published before. Wikipedia represents the current agreed understanding on a certain subject. Aptitude and truth do not intervene in this equation. This extraordinary creation, Wikipedia, symbolizes the triumph of digital media in a positive manner. If you are familiar with that book, uh, Truth, Beauty, and Goodness, Refrain. Uh, we'll find that in the conclusions chapter. Uh, the reason why those might not be exactly how the garments were is because I read the book in Spanish. <laughs> uh, and that is my translation. With this, colleagues, I will hand over to Martin again. Welcome again to Leicester, welcome to Osby. Enjoy the conference and thank you. Uh, just a quick a quick summary of the dream, which is what we've got at the moment, with the help of our colleagues at the back there. Um, lots, lots of topics, of course, as you would imagine, many of which overlap. Um, some of them are actually the same topics that I will report later on under the title of Nightmares. <laughs> so uh, so um, you'll see what I mean. Um, uh, just a quick summary um, that aims to capture most of the ideas. Um, uh, in the area of openness generally and open educational resources and practices, uh, ideas of Wikipedia to form a university, similar to the OERU, um, uh, OER integral feature of uh, learning worldwide, um, somebody suggesting the creation of a new post, the czar for <laughs> Wikipedia in HE and FE and schools and adult education and everything else. Um, Explicit link needed between between Wikipedia and repositories, uh, going to towards the issue of embeddedness, which is mentioned by a lot of people in one form or another. Um, there's an idea that everyone should contribute something uh, to Wikipedia. Um, the growing community of editors, student engagement is a big theme. Uh, the, the the issue that brings us here today of of learning and teaching and these new uh, resources, and some of them not that new. Uh, some of these things need to generate what some people call the wow factor in learners. Um, <coughs> they need to be geared towards meeting students' needs and support those needs as they are met. Um, there's the idea of an apprenticeship being developed um, uh, as, as people contribute to, to, to these resources. <coughs> Uh, the issue of reliability, validity, and be taken seriously is present across many, many of the perforate airplanes. Uh, is it a valid resource? Uh, the dream is by 2018 it will be. Um, a more serious and structured peer review process needs to be in place, some people claim. Uh, that will not only be a, an aim in its own right, but will generate more opportunities for critical thinking. Um, <clears throat> The, 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 the dream is that the, the, the combination of these tools could constitute a valid, reliable research base, freely available, in integrity, collaboration. Um, increased use of an accurate resource, 
credibility, legitimacy, trust, and reputation are words that appear regularly in, in the paper airplanes uh, under dreams. Outreach, um, improvement on the coverage of topics for non-English speakers. Uh, assessment via Wikipedia should have become normalized by 2018, uh, and that would constitute what, uh, what some colleagues call authentic assessment. Uh, digital literacy is heavily present. Um, ease of use. Um, Wikipedia to become more visual, someone suggests. A better understanding and more explicitness about licensing and creative commons. Uh, scholarly activity be recognized on Wikipedia. Uh, I would no longer need to put do not cite Wikipedia on the essays I mark. <laughs> someone says. Um, <laughs> There are some personal dreams of various esoteric natures um, on, on the paper airplane, which are very interesting to read. Um, <laughs> issues, of, issues to do with the, 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 the ability for women to play a, a more prominent role in the development of new knowledge and making that knowledge available to all. Uh, readable by all secondary school age students by 2018 and Wikimedia being the standard and standardized repository. Those are the dreams. More to follow. Nightmares in episode two. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay. Lots of nightmares. Some of them overlapping with the dreams. Uh, I'll, again, I'll go through them very quickly, and I'm, my apologies in advance if I misrepresent anything that uh, has been uh, written on your paper airplanes. Uh, first, um, um, this, uh, this was compiled thanks to Isabel's help, who is very, very good at doing this. And uh, can you remember your name? Yeah. And your help as well. Uh, so thank you both. Uh, loss, or, loss or deterioration of Wikipedia. Uh, under that heading, Wikipedia is dead by 2018. Wikipedia by then becomes out of date. Uh, or it closes due to financial constraints, uh, or to copyright challenges, or to privatization. Indeed, there's a danger in this claim that Wikipedia could be bought or sold out, or its OERs bought or manipulated by private organizations. More vandalism, propaganda, commercial advertising appearing. Uh, too much information to regulate. Too many complex rules. Um, Wikipedia becomes the only resource or has a monopoly. <laughs> that brings me to the end of that heading. Accessibility. Um, more difficult, it, it becomes by like 2018 more difficult to access. Uh, relegated by more accessible sites and indeed blocked by some universities. <laughs> Sensory. Uh, under the heading editors and editions, um, dominated by Western cultures, um, controlled by the few, uh, less altruism, um, um, right, education uh, deterioration, or the deterioration of education, uh, Wikipedia becomes a tool for lazy students and lecturers. They cut, and, they cut and paste culture. How far in the future is this? <laughs> Last week. Yeah. Um, poorly designed courses built on open content. It's an interesting one. Uh, uncritical use of Wikipedia becomes and remains endemic. And a big one. Information confused with knowledge. Information confused with knowledge. I was looking at the mission, and your mission is something like opening, accessing the, say again? Bringing the sum total of human knowledge to the right. on the thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Is it the sum of human knowledge, or a lot of information that represents that knowledge? What is it that we're talking about here? Mm -hmm. uh, mistrust. Uh, educators still tell learners to avoid Wikipedia by 2018. Wikipedia loses integrity because reliability continues to be compromised. Uh, paid editing dominates contributions. Uh, only the 
superficial is value? Uh, commercial or other interests rather than altruism dominate. Uh, authors lose income on the basis of royalties. Someone rose. Um, an interesting um, <coughs> heading here under quality. Uh, many or all or a lot of the entries were are written by undergraduates or in the first year undergraduates. And if we imagine, and this is me, not this, if we imagine a, a continuum of value, what is valuable as a learning experience for a first year undergraduate might not be valuable to a user of an encyclopedia. <coughs> it might be a fantastic thing to learn from the process of making a contribution, but if I am a user of that encyclopedia, would I trust a first year undergraduate? Um, and I can, sorry? And yes, it could. Um, Wikipedia becoming too academic um, and disputes, uh, fights due to ownership, <coughs> academic disputes, for example, in relation to constant changes to interests. So those. That's a summary of the nightmares, with thanks to Isabel for helping me compile them. Uh, I don't think we have time to discuss them now, but they can inform the debates. Thank you very much, Matt. Uh, I think it's sort of empowering that we have control over what we have influence over whether the dreams of the nightmares can do. <laughs> 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 <laughs>